peace and divine love. How y'all doing? I want to thank you actually for having me out. And I love your energy, so thank you for being here. And your beautiful smiles and your beautiful faces. Check me out at my website, TaslimJamilaMusic.com. I'm on Twitter and Facebook at TaslimJamila. So I definitely want the band, whenever y'all feel like it, join in. This first piece is about me, just a little bit about me growing up in Chicago. They used to get down real, real gritty. See, life in the city was not always pretty. Some even called me Sadini, like I was from the suburbs, where they called blunts errors, where some fake happiness, but they really emotion disturbed, where there no sidewalks or curves. You see, Shot Town South Side's where I have a happy childhood. And in my 10 years, experienced some tricky living. Grew up with close friends and friends, and then I introduced to some backstabbers with sticky fingers. Little girls fell face flat in the fantasies the big city painted that caused them to see things that you say was unforgiving. My parents had KKK memories from Alabama and Mississippi living. They migrated to Shot Town for a better life. Shot Town would bring them some happiness. Some strength, some stress, some strain, and some strife. See, I hung out in the hood and Princeton Park and the low homes and road and nine, eight rides. And well, if you came out of my way with the wrong color on, man, you better hide because GDs and Blackstones didn't coincide. The streets were filled with look about his old dirty condoms, but we still had some black pride. I said, we still had some black pride. I had to erase, escape and exchange the negative mindset that permeated from 95th Street to the Wild Hunters. From Princeton Park to Jackson Boulevard, see times were good, but for some man, times were hard. Even Chicago public schools taught me nothing but how to dodge bullets and how to cut class, and how to do just enough to get by and just enough to pass. Prenatal abortions, synthetic misuse, neglected souls, man, they always had an excuse, but my mom See, she always talked about revelations. And my soul, see, it reeked of revolution. And my daddy was a physical exam for those inner city evolution. Bring our family those inner city pollutions. So when chaos reigned in the streets, see, my household, it was like a spiritual retreat. Nourished with scriptures to eat. They first taught me I had my own demons to defeat. That's when I realized that my spirit and my mind had to meet. I said, my spirit and my mind had to meet. See, my soul was crying to be free. It was dying to be free. But I didn't always listen to the divine in me. My freaks was static and sometimes I just couldn't hear it. Disconnected from my soul and disconnected from my spirit. It took much pain and introspection to free my spirit. And that's why I sharpened my tongue. But my crack addicted brothers and sisters, my abused aunts and my mom, never tired of my mission. See, my soul, my soul finally fell in total submission. And now it's cooler by the east side of Chi-Town where the sun shines. See, God allowed my words to be a healing throughout the universe, even past Chi-Town. And see, I meditate, I contemplate, and I prostrate east. Found a way of life, my contentment, my peace, al Islam. Now my inner being, see, it's blessed and it's bursting like bombs. And I meditate on the Quran and the Psalms. And I see the spiritual lifeline in my palm. Yeah. 